So, so Cosmic, you, you have three, three films, films to make. Films. Make sure that you give at least somewhat monthly updates on what is happening to these films so that way you don't even look like a scammer anymore. Make sure that you give people these updates because the more you let people know, the more they'll be willing to trust you again and they'll be like reassured that their money is not being wasted. Because this is 2,046 pounds, that is a lot of money. So, as long as you give monthly updates and make sure that you are giving consistent progress on these films, I think you'll easily regain your reputation. Do any of you remember the YouTuber Cosmic? He was formerly known as Mr. Ryan and Mr. Edward, Boca the Diesel Engine. Entity. It's no secret that Cosmic has had a lot of rebrands, and last year I made a video where I contacted him to cover the history and controversy of his channel. In that video, I left my personal opinion out of it because I wanted people to decide for themselves on what they believed him or not. But now Cosmic is gone, and I'm not leaving my opinion out of it this time. I am still in contact with Cosmic, and I am going to lose a lot of respect from him and others just by making this video, oh never mind, that already happened. This video is purely how I feel about this person. This is not a video for you to watch and then go on a hateful rampage and freaking go and hate people. Also to clarify some things, um, I told Cosmic I wouldn't leak some of the stuff I'll be leaking, which does make me look bad. And I apologize for leaking this and not saying true to my word, but I feel this stuff should be shown to the public to show you what Cosmic didn't want you to see. So basically, um, what I was thinking of was, um, oh, I can't believe you've done this. The first thing I want to talk about is him just dipping from YouTube. On July 20th, Cosmic made a community post saying that he would delete the channel tomorrow. For this last year, his rebrand was made to optimize views and money. And these last eight past months have been the worst. And the only content he made that did well was Sludge, which is him saying the generic content that almost everyone has covered. He also talks about how Thomas is dying and expect the other big Thomas YouTubers to start adding more crashes and spectacle in their thumbnails and video topics to optimize on money and views. And they'll make the same content but slightly better each time. He also goes on this tangent about growing up is realizing most of Thomas is hot garbage. I mean, he's not really wrong about that, like half the show isn't good. And now he's going off to university to study film production. You know, honestly, that's great to hear you're going to pursue that, but what about the Kickstarter? Oh, uh, he addresses it. They aren't happening. Apparently all the scripts were 80% complete and he made 79 models for the movie. Filming was going to start this month but it was cancelled and he has to go burn them now. Well, you want proof of him burning? Well, I did too, and here you go. A script that has great characters like Tasha and Friend, with a Scholactic Thomas book that could have easily been taken out of the fire after the picture. Oh, and about these 79 models burning pictures? Well, um, I got you. Here is one Henry he made. And what about those Bernie models? Well, he was in the moment. Yes, that 100% explains to me why you couldn't get your phone out to take a quick photo of the big fire that would be like you did before with the scripts. That makes total sense to me. Back to the Kickstarter, he says that he doesn't want his scripts and ideas to be stolen. He won't show off his models because... But guys, you gotta understand, he didn't do this because the emails he was sent, they asked about where their money went. It's not like he never made a public statement about where the money went, or if the films were still happening until after I made a video about him where I asked him personally. Yeah guys, all you had to do was just ask me, and I would have told you. It's easy, it's not like I didn't have an easy way to contact me or anything. Guys. What did you expect from a 16 year old? After all, all the people funding the Kickstarter gave him money, all of them 100% adults, giving money to a kid? And I mean, it's not like these adults definitely were kids themselves who had asked their parents to go fund the page, at very least a single movie from their favorite YouTuber. But only a little after you announced it, you say that your channel got hacked and deleted all your videos when your videos were just set to private and never deleted in the first place. Then you rebrand into a content farm to allegedly make more money from it. But when that didn't work out, you came back to make more videos and gave one community post update and that was it. If you truly cared about refunding people, like you said, or even making the movies happen, you could have easily tracked down every single person who supports you from the Kickstarter through listed on the website and give them their money back, but instead you didn't. You didn't want your personal info leak? Dude, 
refunding kids their money should have been your priority when you started saying that you would refund people. Oh yeah, what about giving the money to a charity? Well, apparently you didn't want to do that, which is really weird because I think if you did that, you would have looked really respectable. Instead, you just didn't, and now you're like, hey guys, the, the, the movie is not happening, um, sorry. Look, I am no expert when it comes to refunding people and knowing if you can even keep your personal information off of that, but I think there could have been a way to do so, surely, right? But don't worry guys, Cosmic does not care because when I asked him this stuff on Discord, he said he didn't give a rat's ass about what I had to think and then proceeded to unfriend me and not respond to what I said. What a legend. Oh, by the way, about those scripts he didn't want to be shown, uh, let me show you some of his ideas for it. The remastered Henry movie was planned to be a heist movie that was focused on the criminal world. Hurricane would have been an anti-hero and we would see bounty hunter in pirate trains. It would have been R-rated too, with ghouls being the main villains. Also, not sure if this is a different movie or if it's the same movie he's talking about here, but Bash, Dash, Hugo, and Charlie would be in the movie as villains. Hugo would have had an illegal street race scene and Charlie was a killer clown train. But after this movie, there would have been Henry two and three. So we would have Gordon Edward Thomas movies along with a remaster and two more movies. That is six movies, all with the goal of raising as much as possible with only reaching 2,046 pounds. I'm sure that the 59 backers understand why this couldn't have happened and why he never did any of his promises that he said he would with the tears. But that's not all the films, oh no. They were all gonna build up to a finale film where the ghouls were gonna be involved in this organization that Diesel 10 made and the train gods would have been a part of it. Lady was a supernatural figure and Hurricane was gonna be very religious. These are some of the ideas he sent me for the scripts he allegedly wrote. And um, yeah, they, they sound really weird and not at all what he was describing before. Oh yeah, we can't forget about um, the script he burnt. These were his original characters, I think, uh, Tasha and Friend. Uh, it reads, hi, um, next week can come. Her friend's excitement, is he? Really? What? Tasha looks flickers, shining in her. <laughs> so, you know, going off of this fire script, uh, this would have been for world building in, I'm guessing, the Thomas movie for sure. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Honestly, I think Cosmic would have enjoyed the content he made if he didn't just make it for money. Nobody wants to watch stuff that's just made with no soul. And creators find it depressing because they can't put their opinions into it. And it's just garbage that gets them money. His thumbnails were really weird, generic looking too, that just felt like it was all for money, which is what he admitted. He had 37,000 subscribers. I'm sure if he made videos that he actually liked, a decent amount of people would stick around. Not as much as he used to get, but would you rather be remembered as the person who makes good content or content that will be forgotten in a week? His content on Cosmic wasn't even that good. I couldn't make myself waste my time with the content, but I watched some of his Boko video and he says that Boko is one of the earlier characters added in the series. Showing up in book 21 and being a really long ways into season two, uh, yeah, sure. This makes me think he might've had an AI write some of his scripts, but he said he only uses that to edit some grammar. So I I guess we'll never know and he might be talking about autocorrect AI which I don't know if that's AI by technicality either way it's not generative AI is what he's saying genuinely all of this makes me upset after the first video I made on him I talked to him and others in our group chat for a while to try to see if he was a good person he had me thinking at first that it was just a badly handled situation with no bad intention but now I see him for who he is someone who will lie about anything just to get what he wants he could have donated that money people donate to him with a charity, but he didn't. He could have tried to refund people, but he didn't. And now he just goes out saying, it's not happening. Deal with it. It's so scummy. But if you want his content, now since it's deleted, I downloaded all of his videos that were up and put them on an internet archive link if you want to go and watch it. Along with more of his content I already uploaded like a year ago. For credits, uh, I gotta thank Mr. Swag for being chill. Tring guy for making the thumbnail. 
didn't forget to record this part at all. What are you talking about? The purple myth for being with me in this video and Cosmic for making all of this possible. I was gonna upload all of his content to a channel and then if that channel got enough money, I would donate to a charity, but I'm not too sure if that's gonna happen, but I'll leave my re-upload channel of Mr. Ryan's content in the description and if it reaches 1K, I'll live up to my promise and make it all go to charity. But yeah, go subscribe to my Mr. Ryan channel so hopefully, if it makes money, get it donated to a charity. That could be really cool. Make sure you go watch out for Thomas's Shorts video on Cosmic 2. It's way funnier than mine, and it's currently either in production or has already been out for a little bit. So yeah, that'll be in the end card credits. Uh, thank you all for watching this. Bye-bye!